Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. It is so great to see our friend Allison and Gregory from Foster Adopt Connect. And I know you have a virtual event coming up. And Allison, it's also appropriate that you're here because we were just talking about uh, last week on the show, the little boy in Oklahoma who wanted to get adopted so bad, he got 5,000 inquiries in 12 hours. That is like an amazing story. Yes, and that's what is. we're trying to do here with Foster Adopt Connect. We need to get these, these kids adopted. Yes, exactly. And so what we actually do is we provide um, innovative programs and services to the families and children, um, the adoptive and ado <laughs> adoptive and foster children mm -hmm. and their families who serve them. So um, we provide a lot of things, including family finding, which is what that story was about. Yeah. And right. so um, we have provide a lot of different resources for our kids in um, Missouri. How long has this organization been together? So we've been in Springfield for about five years, but mm -hmm. overall our organization has been around the state of Missouri for 20 years. So we're mm -hmm. actually having our 20th anniversary this year. Fantastic. Yeah. I'm curious what the need here. is in our area. How many kids are currently in you know, the foster system needing adopting? Because you kind of don't think about it no. every day. Right. And it, it's probably a big number. Yeah, it actually is. It fluctuates quite a bit, but right now we're in the upper 600s. Um, and we obviously don't have enough foster homes for all of those kiddos. So a lot of them are placed with multiple um, multiple kids in a family and mm. that kind of thing. So a lot of those foster parents who are doing that work have a lot of kids at yeah. one time. So mm. and that can and be that's really hard. hard. That is yeah. hard. I just am curious, how, how often do people end up keeping a child? Um, in Springfield, or in Greene County anyway, we are about 46% mm -hmm. of adoptions, and then about 43% actually are reunited with their families. Oh. And then a handful of them age out at, mm -hmm. at right. 18. And then there's you know a couple of other uh, ways that um, kids find permanency. So, right. right. Yes, and so you do, and that takes money to help these people. It and, it, and it's expensive to have children in general. And then oh when you goodness. foster them, yes. it needs a lot of help. You have a virtual event coming up. And Kelly and I love art. We love we creating things, yes. and this is a great event. Yes, it is. So our event is Farm to Tableau. It was um, brand new here, and we were so excited to do it in a real fashion. Yes. And um, obviously, we had to move it into a virtual arena. So one of the components um, is a kid's art auction. So we have art from um, four-year-olds all the way to eight year olds and they um, were inspired by the theme for the event was Van Gogh so ah. many of them so we provided them with the paints of Starry Starry Night like that palette mm -hmm. and then a lot of them just kind of took it into their own realm and some of them even added extra colors that you might not see in that particular painting but we do have a lot of renditions of Starry Starry Night um, some people just kind of went on kiddos went on their own and, and created different things uh, again with that palette and then um, or went just kind of crazy so uh, <laughs> let their creative juices you flow exactly. see, in this one I see a, a wolf and a moon yeah so the little one over there um, on the edge. so we have about 15 paintings that are on our auction along with a lot of other things we're offering a lot of um, experiences this year so in some cases um, for a lot of those auctions you might um, do a lot of travel trips and things we do have a couple of those but given the situation and current climate we have a lot of really interesting virtual experiences that you can participate in one of them is including a Broadway show oh, have, oh fantastic. yeah so um, people um, some uh, um, performers from Broadway come into your home virtually and they talk about their experiences and do some performances for you so I just thought that was a really interesting opportunity so we're kind of just trying to to change with uh, as our society changes and things change you're evolving yes. with the times yeah, exactly. and you ha everybody has to because yeah. of what we're going through and it still takes funds yes. and when I was looking at your website this morning there are so many great things you can bid on yes like the Broadway it was yes, just yeah, I was absolutely. overwhelmed like yeah. This is amazing. Yeah, yeah, and we even have a, a cooking class, um, a virtual cooking class, which is kind of interesting too. So, um, yeah, so it is, um, you know, we're really looking forward to it. You can bid, um, go to our website, and then you can bid um, up to Saturday evening, but it's actually already open. So we're accepting bids now into Saturday all right. evening. When so all that down. money goes back into your facility. Yeah, and it goes into Foster Adopt Connect and the programs and services that we provide. Our and then families. how do you dis distribute the funds, depending on what the need is? Yeah, so um, the general need will probably be programs and services, and then we do have a cash call, which will go towards our capital campaign that we are looking to finish for a renovation of our oh. building that we are in now. And that will be just one segment of the show. 
Right. So, and so also on the website this morning, I saw, you know, what the goal was and I saw where you are. You can see the little timeline of how much you've raised so far. You've made a good chunk so far. Yes. But we got, we got, <laughs> got a ways to go. We got a long Absolutely. ways to so go. So you need to go to the website and donate. And I'm telling you, their artwork is amazing. I can, I don't want to pick a favorite, but if I had to, I'm saying this one right here. I love that too. Is amazing. Yeah, amazing. I'm going to move this to the front for you, Clint, yeah. so you can see this. Because if you're saying Starry Starry Night is the inspiration, I totally see it. You know what I love about this too? Look at all the texture in it. Mm -hmm. It's got some texture. Uh, who painted this? A uh, girl named Sarah. All right. Uh, Sarah did a What's fabulous her age? job. I'm just yeah, I'm curious. I don't have the ages on. Okay, okay that's no all right. Worries. But you see the texture and all. And I just think that it is just gorgeous. looks like somebody who's experienced with art or mm -hmm. has a passion yeah, really for does. art. Yes. Mm -hmm. It yeah. is so good. And we just a minute ago saw some photos of some of the amazing kids who created these photos and the inspiration. I love seeing because I think. Here's the thing with adoption and fostering. You have to see the faces and look into their eyes, yeah. and then you really understand the need yes. in yeah. our community. You can't just see yeah. it on the screen. You need to connect with them. Yes, definitely. How often do you have more than one from a family? Uh, that's actually pretty common. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, we have a traditional foster homes, which will take anywhere up to, I think we did a big giveaway last week, and I had a household come in with nine different children. Oh, my goodness. So, and I believe some of those were um, adopted, and then they had nine um, total. So it was a lot of kiddos it in is. one family. It sure is. Um, and they're doing work that you know is very hard and really needs a lot of support and so that's kind of what we do is we support them and we provide them with services uh, behavioral services um uh direct services so they came right. and picked up um, items and clothing and right. things like that right. and um you know so we just try to support them in the job that they're doing as best as we can yeah and you've talked about the website what is the website where can so people it's go? the for the auction it's actually pretty lengthy okay. so uh, it's uh, it's um betterunite.com and then it's slash foster adopt connect dash uh, farm to tableau. So hopefully we can write that down. That somewhere. is long. <laughs> yeah. That is long. That but. is long. <laughs> but is there a place people can go and see that? Yes. So we actually have a very active Facebook page. That's right where now. I saw okay. this morning. Very I went to their good. Facebook yeah. and clicked through. Yeah. So we have a right. very active Facebook page, and that's foster adopt connect dash south uh, SWMO. Okay. They to me, that's it. the easiest way, guys. Go yeah. to their Facebook page. Seriously, yeah. I went to your Facebook page this morning. I saw it. I clicked it. Went to the website. Everything yes. was there. And then you can actually bid on the stuff, and you see all yes. the great things mm -hmm. you can win. Yeah. Yeah. We I appreciate this. All these items are so fantastic. And, yeah, you can raise money for a very worthy cause. These kids need your help. And so thank yes. you for what thank you're you doing. Thank you so much thank for what you, you do. And if you can, if you're able, I know it's a lot to ask, but if you're able to foster or adopt, there's so many kids in our community mm -hmm. that need a home. And it breaks my heart to see them. And I don't want yeah. them to age out. I yes. want somebody, everybody to feel loved. So Absolutely. thank you so much, Allison. Thank, thank you. you, Allison, Thanks for, for bringing me. this on. All right, we'll be back with so much more right after this. Don't go away. Oh, I just love it I so much. Love that too. It's also so pretty. So did they mix the colors?